Okay, number two is a word problem for a quadratic. How do I know it's quadratic? Because this little equation with an x squared was given to me. So it says a spitball is shot up into the air. Its height above the ground is given by the function d of x equals 96x minus 16x squared. Use this equation to complete the following. So picture at the beginning, you're starting here at the origin, and the spitball is at ground zero. You're starting at a zero here. And then after one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, we want to see what the height of the spitball is. And so your job is to take all of these inputs and get the outputs. So I'm going to go down here to make a little space to do the work. So D of zero would be 96 times zero minus 16 zero squared. That's just zero minus zero or zero. D of one is 96 times one, oops, not yet minus 16 times 1 squared. So that's going to be 96 minus, well, 1 squared is 1. And so 16 times 1 is just 16. And 96 minus 16 is 80. All right, let's do D of 3. 96 times 3 minus 16 times 3 squared is 288 minus 16 times 9, which is 288 minus 144, or 140. Hang on, let's subtract that and make sure. Ninety-six times three is two eighty-eight, and then sixteen times nine is one hundred and forty-four, and so that gives us one hundred and forty-four. And I just realized I did D of three. And I skipped D of 2, so I'll go back and do that one now. D of 2 equals 96 times 2 minus 16 times 2 squared. 96 times 2 is 12, 192 minus 16 times 4, because 2 squared is 4. So 192 minus 64. That's going to give me 128. Okay, now we go D of 4. Ninety-six times four minus sixteen times four squared. Three eighty-four minus sixteen times sixteen. Let's go double check our numbers in Desmos for 96 times 4. That is 384 and 16 times 16 is 256. So 384 minus 256 is 128. Now you're going to notice right here and right here that the numbers start repeating. And in fact, if we do D of 5, it ends up turning out also to 80. So go plug in D of 5 on your own and double check that. So if that's the case, when I'm doing this problem, I'm going to notice this symmetry. Now, what do you think about this zero, zero? Do you think it lands that way as well? Does it make sense that the spitball would go all the way back down to zero? What seconds do you think that happens at? 
You got it. That would be at time six. Okay, at what time is the height of the spitball zero? We've got right here and right here represented in the table. Let's go see what that actually looks like graphing wise. So here at the bottom is my zero, zero origin. Skip one, skip two, four, five, and I'll go out here to a six. Remember that on the bottom is the time in seconds. And then if I go on the side here, I could, I've got to get up to a height of 144. And that could be done by counting by 10s, counting by 20s, counting by 12s, 10. Let's go see how many squares I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So if I count by uh, tens, it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 150, 200. So we would get up to the 140. So going and putting a dot at the 0, 0 to start, putting a dot at 180, Putting a dot at 2, 128. Putting a dot at 3, 144. Oops. Then it goes down the exact same way, 4, 128 and 5, 80, and 6 is way down here at 0. So go ahead and connect this graph because this, the spitball is a continuous graph where there is a time in between 1 and 2 seconds where we can follow that path of the spitball. So there's our graph. Now does it make sense that at what time is the height of the spitball? We can see it both in the table and down here in the graph that the height of the spitball hits zero at zero seconds. Okay, what is the maximum height of this football? Do you see that up here in the table? So we would say at three seconds, the spitball hits maximum height of 144 feet. And speaking of feet, we forgot to label the side. Feet or height of this bit ball in feet. Okay, there's our sentences. How'd you do? And on graphs like this, I do like to label the max. There we go.